I'm Ken Coleman and welcome to Daily Doodles number 17. Now for today's video, uh, for today's subject, I was thinking about this little bell that has been lying around the house maybe since Christmas. And I was thinking it's this cool little bell doesn't make that much sound, but there we go. So I'm going to draw a still life of this little glittery thing. Okay, now I'll reduce the size of the viewfinder. There. And the color palette for today is going to be on just flat white. The darkest tone is going to be color, a color called Bush. That's the hexadecimal code 2D0E1C. The middle tone is going to be C green, 2E8B57. And then the lighter, the the lightest of these three is going to be Norway. A hexadecimal code A8BD94. Moving my chair over. Okay, so I'm going to take out some of that, clear up the workspace. Take your notes while you can. Right, and now the next layer. So that's have the bell just to the side of my computer. And switch to pencil. Is that a good size? No, it is not. There we are. Start with something a little bit wider. And I'll begin with sketching it in bush. Now, I don't pretend to, I won't say I am, nor pretend that I am a master of ellipses drawing them. These long oval shapes are tall oval shapes. It's never been my forte. But a little loose. So it dips a little bit as it comes in. I'm going to try drawing a relatively straight line going up so that I have an idea of where the center of the bell is. attaches to that little 
chain, a piece of plastic along the top, Chain goes down there, down there, that is my color site, the uh, site where I go for the color names. Alright, so this is a very reflective color, very reflective plastic. So there is a wide and very stark difference in where different lusters are reflecting, how brightly, how darkly. Uh, this is going to go right here. After I have a rough idea, I can then go in with the decorations. shadow the crackling that you hear is my seltzer water The other side, it's also a lot of shadow. It is positioned so that the two main light sources are the light fixture above and the window in back. And it is all hitting the bell on this side. Still trying to get over this cold. <clears throat> now there's chain is one of those little plastic beaded strings you might see them around the time of Mardi Gras and this one is lustery green not quite Mardi Gras bead not not quite Mardi Gras green uh, Maybe a St. Patrick's Day tone. Uh, 
I have the string in another layer in case I want to diminish some of that without affecting the rest of the bell. Just follow this string all the way down. There. So I am going to shade in this part. And then I can start working in the sea green. Okay. So the sea green, I'm going to start working in lightly here. I won't go into too much detail of trying to get in all these decorations. It is very detailed mold, a very detailed molding. Excuse me, I just have to get up and blow my nose. I'll be right back. All right, back in action. So I'm trying to add some dimension, some shading in here, without trying to make the gradient look too smooth of a process. Green there because of the angle of this piece.
it's hard to describe in general the theme of these designs. They look mostly floral. There are supposed to be little beads here. These beads. Back into that chain with the sea green. And I saw this lying around in the kitchen. This chain, it wasn't connected. So I looped it and popped the bead in place. I'm going to minimize my tip for Norway. Norway the color, not Norway the country. And begin the floral decorations. Some of the highest highlights. When I'm going brighter than this, I'll just draw out some of this. Some of what I've already put down. And that way I can. Ah, heck, I'll just dab into the white. A little bit there. There are so many greens here that just looking at the image, you would think that the color Norway was a shade of gold or off-white. But no, it is a shade of green. It's all relative. I 
it's been some work around the house. So I was waiting for some hammering in construction to cease for the moment before I began recording. There is a new shed out back. It's cool seeing how formulated it was. It was like a kit, like a Gundam model or, or a Lincoln Logs. The company's employees came by with some uh, with a flatbed truck and a trailer, unloaded the sides and the roof and the shingles and the door. They knew exactly what to do within about four hours. They had the shed up and fully formed. It freaked the cat out, I'll tell you. So the closer that we get to this little center patch, the more the stippling will lead into goldish, silvery, greenish area. The contours all go in so quickly that it's just momentary. You get that concentration. Another tab. We can work on the places where the highlight, where the light source hits most in the center area. I'm going to go back in here with some of the sea green to make the transition from the Norway to the bush a little more subtle.
Back to the Norway. Well, back and forth. Trying to get the pattern down without necessarily having to grid it. Maybe a little too detailed. These are little stocks. This side. Yeah, it's much warmer in Boston today. getting out of that cold snap and hopefully it doesn't get too much colder afterwards. Especially in January, the weather can be fickle here. That's when you think it's going in one direction, it will go in the other one. design here. And it is too finely detailed for me to read from this position. But I have a faint idea of what it looks like. It's mostly sea green. With the bush providing the shadows, defining shapes. Get a smaller tip. We can add in all this luster. It is a very shiny little part, and above that, it is right in this heart of the bell, where it's getting hit with so much of the light source. that, bring it up the sides, there we are. 
that little detail. So just keep on going. With this tip, I might be able to create that cross hatching. This part of the bell is showing. As we get into this area, it becomes a whole lot darker. A little bit of green. But the bush tone makes it so indiscernible as I try figuring out what the shapes are. I can only guess based on the little bit of light that is reflecting. And that's what I can guess. <laughs> so I'm going to add some highlights here to the beads. bit of sea green, bush, Now I am going to put a big fat eraser, wipe out what I already had underneath for the chain, and that way if I add a little bit of shading in the back, to give the presentation some depth. Do that a little bit more gracefully. Seeing that every here and there, some of the white is utilized in the bell. Uh, forget it. I can work in a little bit of the Norway for the string. A 
let's see. A few little details that I have left. Highlights on the beads. cusp of the cup shapes Running out of time about now, so I'm going to hurry up. Last touches. Some Norway on that flower. I think it's a flower. Right. So I'll remove that, fill with white, clean it up a bit. There you have it folks. That is Daily Doodle 17. That is the bell. My name is Ken Coleman. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. There is also the option to subscribe. And that will give you a heads up whenever there's a new video out on my channel. So have fun. Have a good day. Leave any comments below if you'd like to share or suggest some subjects. Bye.